Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Leos. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at what you're not expecting to happen for October 1st through the 15th. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Okay. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button so that you could always get notified whenever I post future readings. And if you want a personal, please check out my description box. Everything you need to reach me will be below. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. So Leos, what are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place for October 1st through the 15th of 2020 for my Leos? Also, we do go live now. This is something I'm implementing on the channel. I've been promising you this for like months, <laughs> but I will be going live every single day and I will be taking personal readings live. So basically how it works um, you can super chat or make a donation and you will get a live question answered and get you the clarity that you may be needing. So make sure you join us here on my YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that you can go ahead and get you a reading. OK, and that's every day or every other day. I'll let you guys know if I don't go live. So let's see. Leo's. What are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place from October 1st to the 15th? So we have a card that fell. This is called surprise. So interesting. So with this card coming up, um, a couple of things are actually coming through. The first thing I'm getting, if you are a Leo and there's certain things that you may have been putting off financially, surprisingly, you may have those bills show up. So if you're somebody who, you know, has to pay child support or something like that, uh, that may be coming back up and there may be like a hefty bill. You may have to pay for that. For others of you, this could be like a ticket, like you ran a red light like two months ago or something like that. And then the ticket comes through in the mail or a credit card bill that you, you know, never got a chance to rectify. And that comes back up. Um, for others of you, this could be in other surprising ways. This could be you having to fix a flat tire randomly or your child being sick. You have to take them to the doctor. It's going to be different, but basically there's going to be some sort of surprise that may come up. That may be a little financially dampering, but I don't think that it's something that's going to like totally throw you off um, financially. It's just you need to make sure that you have your um, your emergency money ready, okay, so that you can take care of any, like, surprising fees that may come up. Um, hmm. Another thing that's kind of coming through, it could be also the reverse to that. Some of you may be getting some sort of surprising money. So this could be you waiting for some money to come through, and then it finally comes through. This could be... Um, tuition money or um lawsuit money you may have won a lawsuit in a car accident or something like that it, again it's going to be different for everybody um but i definitely see that energy coming through with this first card we also have the messenger card interesting so there may be some sort of important mail. i'm telling you something important is going to come through the mail definitely make sure that you're checking your mail making sure that you're staying on top of your mail um i also see that this is also through text message so this could be through email text message actual mail um, you may even get a message from somebody close to you, from somebody who you haven't spoken to in a while. Like some of you may get the message that your father or your mother finally wants to talk, or you may be finally getting a message from somebody who may have ghosted you like three months ago. And it gives you the, the clarity that you need or the opportunity to get that clarity or that closure you may have needed. Um, you're like, again, it's going to be uh, different for everybody, but there's definitely going to be some sort of important message that may come through social media or through mail. All right. All right. So we also have the servant card in reverse. So with this Leo's, this is also you guys really being fed up with being at the beck and call of people so much. 
some of you Leos have been like super generous when it comes to always being there for your family, always being there to, you know, help and, and financially pour in. And you guys could be super tired of that. And you're just like, look, I'm tired of having to keep everything together here. Okay. Um, hmm. some of you, if you are working like a server job, there could be some sort of like layoffs, unfortunately. So I would definitely look at other positions that may not be around like the restaurant industry, because with the restaurant industry, you guys know with everything that's going on in the world right now, that career may be suffering during this time frame. So it may be best for you to kind of take a step back. If you are working a job where, you know, you have to do that because it may be at jeopardy. Um, we also have the hope card in reverse. So some of you may be having moments of doubting yourself or feeling like things are just helpless at this point. And there is a need for you to make sure you're not adopting that perspective in that you're trying to, of course, have a healthy dose of reality. I'm not saying just full fledged you know, believe in things that don't have the ability to get better or, you know, believing in things that aren't really real. But for some of you, it's like completely you're losing hope in regards to your love life or in regards to you being able to make more money. And whenever you come to a point to where you feel blocked or you feel stuck, understand it's not that you're actually blocked or you're stuck. It's just, you need to try a different approach. Whenever you see something's not working for you in the way that you're handling things at this very moment, the only way you can do is look at exactly why it's not working and shift the way that you're doing things. Okay. Sometimes failure is actually a catalyst for great success because you learn everything that you're not supposed to be doing through failing. And then you learn how to do things the correct way after that. So don't give up on yourself, especially if it is taking time for like that business to pick up or something like that. You, you need to look at your approach, not, you know, discrediting yourself and your ability to do things. Okay, we have the prison card in reverse. Some of you, you may have like a family member or somebody close to you who may be in out of jail very soon. Um, so others of you, I do see this energy of you guys overthinking. So make sure you're not stressing yourself out so much that you're putting yourself into a mental prison and a mental prison that's really, really hard to get up out of. Okay. Uh Excuse me for yawning. Hmm. Some of you are going to finally just stop putting your faith and energy into a relationship here. Like you may feel as if this relationship was really holding you back from being happy in the first place and doing what you knew that you, you know, could have been doing. You could have been out living your best life and uh, meeting somebody who you could have had a more concrete relationship with. And then you were dealing with somebody who was kind of dragging you down or making you feel stuck. And some of you, this is not even a relationship. Like some of you, you just talking to this person and they got you stuck like this. Some of you are just going to say that's enough. Like I, I'm really done with that. I'm done having to put up with the same thing over and over again or not getting what I deserve which is really, really important. Yeah, and we have the butterfly card or the, I never know how to say the word, so I'm just gonna show it to you guys, okay? There you go. But this is a good way to end the reading off because this card is all about freedom, spreading your wings, uh, taking leaps of faith, really just seeing where the world or where the energy takes you. So for any of my Leos that have been feeling stuck and confined and like they're helpless, I actually see you guys having this breakthrough, this transformational energy that's coming through. OK, it's like the butterfly in the cocoon. OK, you go through the ugly stage with the cocoon and the shedding of skin and releasing and then you come out a butterfly. So apply that whole understanding to your life. You have to shed skin. You have to shed situations to grow into that butterfly, to grow into self. So if anything you do have to release in this first half of October, understand that it's for the betterment of you in the end. Anyways. 
All right. So thank you. Thank you so much, Leos, for watching this. If you enjoyed, make sure you thumbs this up. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Again, if you want a personal, please check out my description box. I offer those, get you the rest of 2020 forecast um, overlook so you can see how 2020 is going to end for you. And if you want a live reading, join us at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel where I will answer your questions. And yes, thank you. And I'll talk to you in the next one.